welcome to another episode of Entrepreneurs in Fuego. We're documenting the journey of incredible entrepreneurs, one digital footprint at a time. With me, I have uh, Sean Bradford. Yes. Hello. Yoga. Yoga, yes. Yoga and coaching. Yoga and coaching. Yes. So my vision is to bring more wellness into businesses in Phoenix through yoga, through meditation, through breathing techniques, and through wellness luncheon. What's lines. your favorite position? My favorite yoga position is probably uh, warrior a, that's two. A legit, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. That, that's, that's, that's a legitimate question. I, I, I went right there. What? I got it. Warrior two. Vira Vajrasana. So is mine. There. What would you is like, war, to, what would is you like me to show you? Please. I think I can do it in here. All right, okay. Well, all right, so so I like two. the warrior pose because it creates yeah. a lot of strength and confidence. So if we're in an office and right. people are needing that confidence right. booth, so, we're, we're in so an office. let's put our left leg behind us. All right, so let's have our toes about 40%, 45% angled in. Right. Mine is like about 41.1. That works. Let, right. I'm going to give you some more cool. space there. Oh, I'm good. Put your right leg in front. Yeah. And you're like going this. to bend your right leg. Yeah. Good. Like this. Your hips facing forward, shoulders like right, away like right from here. your ears. I got it right there. There okay, you go. So 40, 42 degree. So bend your right bend, leg. Bend right leg. Face your hips forward. Face my face forward. Good. Towards the camera. There you go. Dun, da, 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 really da, 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 lunge into da. your right leg. Right. You can dance. I like that. You yeah, can dance. Or you can do the Macarena. Or you can have your arms out real that's powerful. A, that's an over. I do remember that though. Oh yeah. They're yeah. Really okay, so there I'm here. Uh -huh. And I'm here. When and you're here right. and you breathe. Bam. Breathe in through your nose. And out through your nose. In. And out. Feel strong. I love you. Confident. That's it, man. That's, that's <laughs> it. I mean, we got we got warrior too, baby. So that's what we're doing, yeah, bringing like yoga into businesses. I like that. And I'm so relaxed right now. Yeah. Yes. It's creating relaxation, reduction in stress. And it's great before you're going to meet with a client, before you're going to have a presentation. Really, if you're kind of angry before you react. That's powerful stuff. Breathing. So you take this to companies and then you teach the employees or is a specific, do you act as the, as the instructor there or do you teach somebody to be the instructor? I act as the instructor there. Okay. So I'm a yoga instructor right. and I act as the instructor. My long-term vision is to really build this up and bring other yoga instructors ah. in so we can really get more wellness into, it'd be beautiful to have it in each and every, uh, business in Arizona. Your marketing is a combination of call calling and referrals. Yes, so I, uh, I come from a 15 year sales background. I sold real estate, bank owned homes and copiers. And most of Wait my- Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I gotta stop you, man. You're, you're just going way too fast. all over the place. <laughs> copiers and, 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 and homes. So I started with copiers when I was having my children. I did real That's estate. A hard sell. Yeah, it's both of them are hard sells, but and I got the business pretty much every single client in both through a cold call, either in person or on the phone. Isn't though selling? It boils down to maybe a little formula. It boils down to yourself, your attitude, your personality, correct? I mean, you could be selling widgets or, or glasses or paper or anything. It's just the attitude that a person has toward the item that you're selling and the individual that you're corresponding with, correct? I completely agree with you. So anytime I was teaching other salespeople yeah. to cold call, yeah. I'd show them some of these breathing techniques to get them in the state of mind so that then when they walk in, they're bringing in very positive energy, enthusiasm, and that's contagious. Yes. And people are like, I, I want to hear what you have to say. You're bringing in this great energy, this enthusiasm, what you have to say. And same with the phone. I, I just realized something, that you're, you're, you're a freaking genius because you're bringing, whatever it is that you're selling, you're not directly coming into a business and say, hey, I'm gonna sell you a copy machine. No, you were saying, hey, what if I just make all your employees a little bit better right now? How about that? I'm gonna teach you folks how to breathe. And then you go into the sales pitch, but now you've developed some type of relationship and people feel more at ease with you. Yes. Increasing, thus increasing your chances of selling what you wanna sell. Completely. Yeah, you You're have to genius, make man. that connection first. You're a genius, man. Well, thank you. Yeah, this I is like nice. That. I didn't think I, I was like gonna that. come in here with all these compliments. No, no, I, I like no, it. But I, but I like that. And, and fewer yeah. of us 
I think, realize the power of giving something away in order, in this case, education, whatever yeah. you know, your expertise is, just give it away. Mm -hmm. Because it's going to come back to you in spades. You've established some type of incredible relationship with that other individual, and now it's paying in spades. I totally agree with that statement. You're correct. And that's, that is what awesome. it's about. Yeah, yep. you share your knowledge, you share what you want to spread and teach, and then you'll start getting the clients. How did you get into the yoga? So I started yoga about right after my last child was born. He was six months, and I started yoga. I just needed, I didn't know what I needed. I was going to Mountainside Gym. I had three small children, you know, a year and a half, two years apart each, working full time. I needed something. Yeah. And so I started checking my kids into childcare, doing yoga every day, and I noticed in myself a huge reduction in stress, much more calmness, more energy, and I kept going and then just recently I got my yoga teaching certificate because I really want to bring that to other people that this is, it's, it gives you more time and it gives you more energy and it gives you so much more mental clarity. Yoga to me, I think it's a polarizing subject because you find idiots like me that go, you know what, I've tried yoga and yeah, it was, eh, it was kind of okay. And then I find the real passionate people such as yourself, like, you have to do this. You have to do this. You got to learn how to relax. <laughs> <laughs> but, and even small parts of it, even if I can bring to somebody, here's a one minute breathing exercise to do if you're wound up. That breathing, that's, you know, the movement of yoga is just one part of it. Yeah. Breathing's another part. So if I can bring that to the table, bring the stillness of, you know, if we can sit with ourselves for a minute, to calm down our nervous system. That's yoga. Tell me about your business coaching mm -hmm. uh, business, if you will. So right now I'm starting with individuals and I'm seeing just individuals one-on-one -on -one to help them create clarity. And then the big deal is how can we take that new awareness and create forward movement? So action items and how do we implement it? How do we have accountability? Okay. But then I'd also like to take that and incorporate that into businesses because I see businesses really need that emotional and mental well-being as well. It goes with the yoga. Let's talk about awareness. Yes. I think that that is, that is key and that's very important. De define it for me and, and then I'll, I'll chime in of what I think awareness is, but go ahead. So what I think awareness mm -hmm. is, is having a better understanding first of ourselves. Okay. If we can understand the way we act, the way we think, why we do things, that's the first key. Then we can understand our world better and the people around us. So I think more self-awareness makes us a better person, a better mother, a better father, a better friend, a better coworker. And you come in and coach people to become more aware of themselves. Yes. That has to be a very difficult task because a lot of us have just a mountain of prejudices and, and, and beliefs uh, that sometimes makes us, how shall I say, uh, a little bit reticent to improve or to get out of that environment mm -hmm. and to be able to see the world with different eyes. Yes. And that's, that's awareness, I mean, and, and that's very difficult to break. How do you do that? So there are so many different tools. Um, yep. One of the first tools is a visualization where you change perspectives, and that's oh, kind of okay. been around for a long time. Yeah. But if you really first get in that state of mind, take somebody through some relaxation for maybe a minute or two, some breathing, ask them to think of a situation where they had some conflict, and ask them to take the other person's be the other person now in their visualization and replay it over, that can create awareness. The next portion that we can do, there's a beautiful book called The Four Agreements. Sure. And there's a whole coaching model around that. And one part is how do we not take anything personally? So how can we take what somebody said you know, my, my spouse yelled at me and said that they didn't think I was being um, supportive to them. How can we take that and realize it's not personal? What is our spouse going through where, you know, it, it shouldn't be taken personal? What are they reflecting back on to us? So really getting somebody to ask those hard questions of what did you take personally? How can you not take it personally? Um, and giving them that quiet space to sit for a little while to really go within, think, and pull out the answer. So coaching, we really believe that you already have the answer. We're just asking some powerful questions to get you to that answer and through a whole bunch of different tools. When it comes to yourself, mm -hmm. 
do you seek coaching from somebody else to achieve this clarity that you have? Or do you look at yourself in the mirror and go, this is what I need to do? Both. So a lot of the books I um, coach from, like the four agreements, yeah. I do those through myself. I also have coaches. I did a Skype session the other day. And it was just a quick 20 minute session. And she had designed a model called Energy Trainers. And she asked me to really, she asked me a lot of questions to find out where my energy was going to. That was sucking a lot of my uh, energy. And we determined through questions that it was kind of my morning mess of getting three kids ready for school and having this tornado explode. And so then we put together an action plan for things of uh, how that can be eliminated so I can come back to a cleaner home and start working. Beautiful thing. So just creating again, where the clarity, where are those yep. energy drainers? Okay, we found it. Now let's create a plan. It's it's simple really. It's simple the way that you put it. Thank you. And that's the way it should be. Mm -hmm. Because this thing can get so ephemeral. Another word that I wanted to use today. I just wanted to get it out there. I like that word. I'm yeah. not quite sure, but it's good. Nebulous. There, oh, there's Subjective. another one. Okay. Oh, uh, oh don't, don't, get, don't get me, don't get, I'm a thesaurus, believe me, don't I worry like about it. that. The four agreements I like, mm -hmm. it's a little bit too religious for me, mm -hmm. but if you take the, the religious and you kind of focus on the secularity, another word for you, off there, the book, yeah. then I'm in it. Okay. Just my book review for the day. And, and I love that because that's part of when you first meet a client yes. to really getting to know them in a consultation to find out how do they want to be coached, yes. what their philosophies are, and have them fill out an intake form so you can learn, hey, if they don't really resonate with this type, we're going to use a different tool. So that's... Do, do you um in yoga at all or is that a different thing? I personally do. Yeah. Um, um, no, ohm, I personally ohm, yes. All right, but well, let's, let's, let's ohm out of this interview. How about Should we that? ohm out? Okay. On three, on, one, two. You want to bring your hands to Anjali Mudra, heart center. All right. So first, exhale your stale air. <sighs> Inhale. And ohm. Mm. 